This is a story about magic, or more accurately, about a trick. Ishamuddin Khan is 24, a street magician in New Delhi, his family's vocation for generations. <laughs> the facade may be merry, but the reality is different. The magicians say the police often harass them and that the proceeds are minimal. Today, they will earn the equivalent of $5. Hope is something difficult to conjure in the slum of Shadipur, where Delhi street magicians live crammed together with their decrepit dancing bears and morose monkeys. <coughs> there is nothing magical about this slum of magicians, but Ishmadeen Khan was a magician with a dream. He had discovered a book that said a society in London was offering 25,000 pounds to anyone who could revive something called the Great Indian Rope Trick. For over a year, Ishamuddin and his extended family worked to unravel the lost secret. His parents and young wife sold garbage to support his ambitious bid for fame and fortune. The entire family, not just me, everyone worked so hard. We had a lot of problems and sorrows. We took out loans. What can I tell you about how bad it was? And finally, on a sultry night in July, Ishmuddin performed the great Indian rope trick, making a seemingly ordinary rope rise into the night sky. Local reporters said it was the first time the trick had been performed in 600 years, that Ishmuddin was bound to win the money. It wasn't magic, it is a trick. I don't know what they used to do in the old days, but the rope trick is only a trick. There is no magic. Ishamuddin is right about there being no magic, at least no magical solution to grinding poverty. Back in the Shadipur slum, he is blissfully unaware that there really is no prize. The book was simply referring to a long-abandoned turn-of-the-century publicity stunt. The family had borrowed over $1,700, banking on Ishamuddin's success. They don't realize the future holds no glittering fortune, only a staggering debt. The day of reckoning comes when Ishamuddin's supporters telephone the book's author in America and discover the truth. The author congratulates you, he tells the magician, but there is no prize, you were mistaken. For Ishamuddin, the realization sinks in. Plans for a better life were simply an illusion. Gail Young, CNN, New Delhi.